hi guys welcome to the channel today in this video we'll see how a battery works so before looking into the working mechanism of a battery which is the title of today's video let's let's first understand what a battery is so broadly speaking battery is just a energy storage device as we have super capacitors fuel cells so battery is one of the energy storage device which is heavily used in day-to-day -day portable electronics as you are using your phone tablets and nowadays people have started using these batteries in electric vehicles also so it's a very important energy storage device so let's see the working mechanism of a battery so i'm not particularly explaining a specific battery broadly speaking let's say this is an anode and on the right side we have cathode but people might be inquisitive what is this thing in purple in the middle so this is a separator and this is an electrolyte so what happens in a battery what actually happens is we give some current to the battery and then these ions whatever ions i'm not naming it now is if it is lithium ion or sodium ion potassium ion whatever that we will explain in the uh, upcoming videos so when we give the current what happens is these ions move here to the electrolyte the electrolyte contains the same ions as these if these are lithium ions they are also lithium ions if they are sodium ions they are also sodium ions so one ion let's say comes to the electrolyte the same ion travels and migrates through the separator and enters the cathode again similarly all the ions go towards the cathode and get stored here in the cathode <laughs> how we have done this we have given the current to move the ions from the anode to the cathode so now your battery is 100 percent charged you see on your phone that your battery your phone is 100 percent charged so that actually means that you have migrated all the ions from the anode to the cathode so now you have started using your phone or laptops whatever so what is happening these ions are again traveling back to the anode following the same route same ions following and going to the same anode when all the ions go back towards the anode you can see that your phone is 100 per zero percent charge then you again charge it you again discharge it so this is how a battery works so in the upcoming videos what we will do is we will explain about the anode about the separator and the cathode and why we will explain in depth the lithium ion battery then you might have heard in the news that people are also commercializing sodium ion battery so why are we going towards some other battery when we already have lithium ion battery what are the problems with the lithium ion battery we'll explain sodium ion batteries we'll explain lithium ion batteries and other next generation battery materials which are metal sulfur batteries where metal would be lithium sodium potassium magnesium a lot of things so stay tuned to the channel and we'll be coming with more very interesting videos thank you